Thank you for being here as we update you on the city's response to Tropical Depression Bureau. I'd like to acknowledge my fire chief, uh, Marty Senefit, Under Sheriff Dwayne Senefit, and sign language interpreter Kimberly Duncan. The Emergency Operations Center will be downgrading from a level one to a level three. That means we will close at 8 p.m., but reopen for business at 8 a.m. on Tuesday. Nothing is more important than the safety of our residents. We will remain vigilant and heavily engage in keeping Jacksonville's residents safe. This afternoon, Senator Bill Nelson, Governor Rick Scott, City Council President Stephen Jose, Councilman Jim Love, and I toured Riverside neighborhood to see firsthand the effects of this storm is having on Jacksonville's residents. Yes, there's damage as expected but city crews are working hard to return our city to normal as quickly as possible. More than a thousand city personnel, including first responders, JEA, Public Works, are really working hard throughout the night to make sure that we address uh, the damage. JEA has dispatched 30 electrical crews, 20 water crews, and 15 tree crews. JEA is reporting that outage have ranged from 20,000 and 14,000, uh, and they are working very hard to really get people back up. Per the Florida Department of Transportation, the Matthew Bridge remains closed. Uh, Chief, you want to add to that while I'm talking about the Matthew Bridge? Sure. As you know, we closed the Matthews Bridge last night, and we've talked a little about the, the wind speeds, and as you know, we don't have that issue now. But because of the wind last night, uh, and they're doing the painting of the Matthews Bridge, and there's a lot of cabling and, and scaffolding and some metal work up there that an inspector from the construction company has to look at before they can open that bridge back up. Um, they're telling me they're really working hard to at least get the westbound lanes open so that we can get traffic into downtown in the morning. And we will, the sheriff's office, when that happens, will notify the media through our normal ears process so that you'll know when we've, uh, when we've opened that bridge back up. But as soon as the DOT gives us the clear on that, we'll be able to do it. Okay. Thank you. Public Work has decided that garbage collection will be pushed back one day for all residents. If your garbage or recycling is normally scheduled for pickup on Tuesday, it will be picked up on Wednesday this week and so on. The Coast Guard has reopened the port, but the Mayport Ferry will remain closed until further notice. Duval County Public Schools will be open tomorrow, but expect possible school bus delays. 630 City will close at 8 p.m. tonight and reopen for normal business hours in the morning. Public pools will reopen on Saturday. Hannah and Huguenot Parks will reopen Tuesday morning. As bands continue to pass through the First Coast, heavy rain, heavy winds, rain, and localized flooding may continue to threaten public safety. So we're advising residents to be careful if you have to go out uh, and stay out of the water. Uh, and remember, if you see any power lines, make sure you call 911. If you see any power lines down, please call 911. With that, we'll take a few questions. Mayor, what would you say went right and what went wrong with the Tropical Storm Recovery Act? Well, I think uh, we took a team approach. We were prepared, working with all the key stakeholders, uh, Chief uh, Senefit and Sheriff Rutherford and Under Sheriff uh, Dwayne Senefit and City Council and all of us, all the agencies uh, worked together to really prepared. I think uh, making a call to close, uh, you know, uh, cancel the jazz festival and making sure that uh, we communicate with everyone was key. Would you give yourself a grade? A, B, C, D, or F? I'll let the residents decide that. Did you find that the residents used the resources out there like the 630 City Hotline? Yes, we, I mean, I took calls myself. I went to the call center and I answered calls myself. They were calling in. And I think that's important, the ability to communicate with, with your residents, with people, and make sure that they're safe and they're getting the message out. I think the media, I want to thank the media for really uh, paying attention and, and putting it out there and really covering uh, this tropical storm and communicating with the, with the public was very, very important. Uh, working, uh, talking to Governor Rick Scott and Senator Nelson and City Council and 
really getting out there with all the not-for-profits, the, you know, the Red Cross worked hard. So it was a really team effort, uh, really, uh, to get this done. Well, they're working around the clock. I mean, I think what people need to keep in mind, even though that the tropical storm is now depression, uh, there's still going to be power outage. And, you know, that's going to happen all through the night, and uh, they're going to do everything they can to get people back online. Is there anything you think could have been done better for the next potential storm? That we well, we're going through that right now. So we're getting, you know, we're going to meet again tomorrow and talk about best practices, what could what could we do differently to make sure that we improve? I think you can always improve on something. Uh, and, and so we're going through that right now. Hey, I know it's kind of early, but what is the monetary damage uh, proceeding right now? Well, we're doing a damage assessment right now as, as we speak. Uh, the crews are going out doing an assessment of what it's going to cost, and we'll have that, uh, you know, in several days. We'll have a guesstimate in several days. Chief, you want to add to that? No, I think that covers it, Mayor. It's going to okay. take us a few days. And downgrading the level of activation, other than reduced hours, what does that entail and how long can we expect to stay where we are now? Well, that means that, you know, uh, people will be able to go home tonight, come back in the morning, uh, and uh, so they'll be able to go home with their family, uh, and uh, which is a good thing. I'll get to go home tonight and uh, come back in the morning and we'll meet and we'll uh, debrief and we'll talk about uh, what are the things we need to do. And, Mayor, what do you have to say to those uh, residents that are at homes or damaged and you have so I think people need to uh, really be careful of, uh, as you would put it, scam artists really taking advantage of uh, particularly seniors, what I would care about, uh, who uh, may, uh, a tree limb may have fallen on the home and did some minor damage. Uh, just be careful if you're going to get a contract to make sure they're uh, certified, call the Better Business Bureau, uh, but make sure to be careful.